G'day, it's Matt the One Minute Gardener here. Now it's autumn at the moment and we've had a little bit of rain and I'm starting to notice in the nursery that there's a, a lot of people having trouble with lawn grubs. What I wanted to make this little video of, and I don't know how we were going to see it at the moment, is um, this is my back lawn at the moment and I've been resisting spraying because uh, those little black bugs you can see floating around above the lawn there are a friend to the gardener and, the, and, and to your lawn. It's a parasitic wasp that actually stings and lays an egg inside the lawn grub. So you can probably see my lawn here is not looking perfect, but the, the lawn grub outbreak's been going on here for about two weeks, and the little wasps are keeping the balance. So I'm sure there's still lawn grubs in there because the, the wasps are still here. But I've resisted spraying, because if I spray this, I'll kill all the, the wasps as well. So if you look up close, this wasp actually looks a little bit reddy bronze in color. There, if you can see them, they, they just look black and they're hovering around the lawn. They're actually looking for a lawn grub to sting. And their little uh, little maggot, the little um, juvenile wasp, grows up inside the, the lawn grub and, and kills it eventually. So it doesn't get to breed and turn into a moth and then reinfect further parts of your lawn. So that's a little friendly wasp. If you see it on your lawn, try and leave it alone and you might be able to uh, get away with not spraying for lawn grub in that area. Now, a little bit later in, uh, we're in this article, I'm going to show you a few other spots uh, what lawn grub damage looks like and probably when you do need to spray for it.